Hi, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to Schulte Sweetie's YouTube channel. I'm a mom of three girls ages five, seven, and 11. And um, we have been homeschooling now. This is our sixth year. So today I'm gonna share a little bit of an unpopular opinion. So don't come at me. <laughs> it might be, I don't know, it might be chaos. I've not really had much drama yet. So, um, but it is a product that a lot of homeschool moms love and recommend. And I thought, oh, I should get this one because it looks like a good one. And I watched some videos. Maybe I just didn't watch enough or just didn't know. I don't know. Should have done maybe a little more digging. But I thought, oh, this is going to be perfect for us. Um, so it is a simple plan planner from Mardell. And um, so it's this year's. I got it right around July, um, so I wanted to give my opinion and why I don't love it. Um, first of all, it is super thick, very thick. Like, I mean, it's great binding, I guess, and it's good material, but it is so thick, it's really heavy, and I don't want to take it very many places because it's so heavy. Um, I do, so there are going to be some positives. I do like that there's a folder so um, because I can't put any of my own pages in this because it's not like disc bound or my pro click bound you know so I do like that there are folders so I can add in my extras um, <laughs> I like the calendar and I like the for the most part I like the monthly pages so I'm gonna give you an example of my monthly um, pages that I do like I do like that, like, you know, I like that the dates are at the top and then you can put your subjects down here. Um, I like that there are the lines, but um, the note page is nice, but then there's nothing, no room for the weekend. So I like to write things. So I do write my weekend stuff there, but it's kind of annoying <laughs> that it doesn't match up. Um, and I mean, there's some blank pages each month. So I do like that, I guess one, one blank page. So what I don't like, <laughs> I'm flipping all around here. So there's the welcome page. And then I don't even know how many pages this is, but it is a lot of sample pages. And maybe I'm just, I don't know. I don't know why we really need the sample pages. That's kind of nice, I guess, for some of this. But I mean, I know pretty much how to use a calendar <laughs> and I know how to write things in. So I don't like that there's so many calendar pages, especially because that adds to the thickness of this. Like this is less many pages. So like I was even contemplating I could take this out, which is I could do, it's fine. But then the next page I was like, okay, I think this is what I thought, oh, this is gonna be good. The planning, it has a planning section. Um, what the planning is, is basically a schedule, like which is good, like, I mean, it's pretty tiny. But then also like it goes through and does yearly overviews and that's how you plan. And this is not how I, I do my planning. And it is a lot, it's even more than those sample pages. And I don't even know, I mean, I guess I could look at the sample for this, but this is not how I like to plan my year. So I felt like these are a lot more wasted paper. So another whole section of wasted paper that I'm not really gonna use. There is a blank page on this back here, which I could use, but that's about it for that section that I would use. Um, and then back in the back, which I don't know why it's in the back, it kind of bothers me that it's in the back too, and I can't rearrange this. Um, I guess I could un unbind, <laughs> unspiral it all. Um, so they have the attendance records and attendance and curriculum. So I was like, oh, okay, so this might be helpful but it's calendars and it's like a I don't know six to eight calendars to keep attendance and I just keep my attendance my kids just do school every single day I guess I might do a little bit change but I don't want to keep track of three attendances I just want to keep track of one and I don't really like to mark it on a calendar either I'd rather I'm really weird where I like to like add it up and stuff at the end I don't I like to see it in a chart kind of thing <laughs> Um, there is a curriculum tracker here. That's nice. Um, but it's in the back, which is kind of annoying. And then 
there's extras, so then there's a grading chart, which I don't need yet, but it's fine. Um, suggested reading list, which is nice. Um, the Way of the Salvation, some extracurricular pages in here, and then a couple notes pages, and that's it. Like, I don't know, I just think that I would want more where this is super heavy and I mean it's very great quality but I have all these like pages that I keep writing on for planning and it wasn't in my thing so this is basically a glorified calendar for us and so I have decided to switch it out mid year well not even mid year one month in um two months in I guess one month since school started <laughs> Um, and so we are going to switch it to, I'm going to switch to School Nest Planner and I'll show you a little bit more of how I'm going to do that because I'm going to unbind it, I think, and, um, disc bind it. So, and that's why I had previously used the Plum Paper Planner and I loved being able to use my disc binding system because then I could add in more pages in it how I wanted. I could rearrange things. So I should have known that that is my own fault but that is just part of why I don't like this and I will not be purchasing this again. If those pages that I just showed you are some that you might be interested in, then maybe you wanna buy this one. But um, for me, I just didn't really care for the how heavy it is. Another thing that I'm, this is my own, <laughs> I'm learning that maybe I shouldn't be using the Frixion um, erasable pens because like they could erase in the heat so like if I want to go take this like while we're at a park or something I guess it wouldn't probably matter too much for just like, an hour or two but um like if it was sitting in my car for a day or two I might lose a lot of things so I'm trying out different types of pens and stuff too in the future so I'm not although it makes me nervous not to have erasable pens <laughs> but um just some things to keep in mind um I just, I like the be able, to be able to like kind of personalize it, but I don't want to print my own planner necessarily. I just have some pages that I want to add in. Um, so I will do another video in the future of how I am customizing and doing my school nest planner, but this will probably not be, I will probably still use this as maybe like my social media or something like that, that kind of calendar. I might even still cut, cut out a lot of these pages and take them out. Um, but I just wanted to share my unpopular opinion about this, cal this uh, planner and um, give you another point of view. Well, I hope you liked this video and I hope that you like and subscribe to my channel and uh, I will see you later.